doesn't like bourbon and coke to uh, rehydrate after a hot day. I got burned a little again. Still a little warm. But hey, welcome back to the channel. I have my other rod from Field and Stream. I had ordered the two rods. I had the favorite rod, uh, the Lunkers TV Defender, and don't quote me, I'm probably not getting those three names all correct, but it's from favorite. Um, and the other rod I ordered from Field and Stream was a Daiwa AccuDepth Downrigger Trolling Rod. It's a mouthful. Um, this rod, and looking at the package, the package is literally about five foot long, maybe a little less. Apparently these come broke down, unlike the favorite, comes in its own pretty little package and put together, even though that uh, favorite rod I bought is a two-piece. This one apparently must be broken down. Now the other box was quite a bit thinner. This one is huge. Why? Uh, but apparently the rods broke down in it. So just like uh, the eBay special I bought, it was broke down in it and then it was padded nicely. So I we'll guess we'll see what this looks like. Um, bought this rod in particular. Uh, I wanted a slow action light catfish rod. Uh, the reasoning for that, so like in bass or gar fishing, you want kind of more of the fast action. Uh, so where when you yank it, it sets the hook. Uh, now, of course you want that with a lot of other fish. When it comes to catfish, I feel like uh, your pole is set, kind of like uh, maybe if you're sitting on the ocean, things like that, if you're doing some shark fishing, you're throwing a bait out there and just letting it sit. You want a slower action rod, at least that's my feeling, that's how I fish. Uh, I am no expert whatsoever, because uh, you like to be able to see the action of the pole work um, especially if you're trolling, that's a uh, buddy of mine was trying to help me out with, especially we get the boat, we get one worked on, because um, I'm going to buy a cheap boat and mod it out. So if I get to that point, I will have a trolling rod, otherwise than that I'm going to be using it for a light catfish rod. Uh, but it's nice that slow action lets you see the pole work and then you know if a fish gets it uh, by the way it reacts, instead of a fast action rod trying to use it for catfish or uh, trolling. It just sits there and bounces and bounces and bounces. At least that's how I feel, how that works. I really like these. I like the longer rod for my pond fishing and things. Uh, get it out over the, the dock and the weeds and other stuff when you're trying to reel your stuff in. So anyway, let's get to the work. So this one actually came from Field and Stream instead of Dick's Sporting Goods. Uh, it did take uh, my favorite rod showed up one day um, I, that was kind of awesome um, this rod it's been about a week and a couple days at least so, but hey uh, okay we got some padding oh I am not this could be perfectly okay in here. It could be completely trash. This is not an acceptable way to ship a fishing rod at all. Field and stream. You failed miserably. That. There's something else in there. Oh, receipt. 86 that. Oh, what you all think. I have this in the right spot so you guys can see. This is the worst job at wrapping a fishing rod. Horrible. I'm not seeing any damage yet. So that's just being lucky. Wow. I didn't know they had 10-year-olds working in the uh, fishing department. Hey, just throw some uh, paper wrap on that. It'll be good. Throw it in a box. It's three times too big for it. So the padding to start was a good sign, and then they seeing this is a horrible sign because there was no padding in the bottom. So the end of this was just shoved against the bottom. All right, well... 
see if there's any damage. I guess she came out okay. None of the eyes are bent or anything. Um, I was a little nervous. Wow. A little bit of nick right there. So, there you have it. Um, field and stream, good on one, horrible at the other. I will be uh, wonderful in how I re review that. Uh, just got lucky, I guess, that the rod wasn't destroyed. Rod looks like a really nice rod. Um, I mean, obviously it's new. The only way to really tell is get her out and test her. See if I can snap it in half, I suppose. Uh, and I'll have updates on my rods as I get my reels in and get them together and get to fishing with them. Uh, you know, you, you're you going to have your reviews from your professional anglers, and then you can have reviews from a fellow like me that uh, might be like you, that doesn't fish very often, it's not a professional. Uh, and these, the Dale will rod, this one in particular is another $35 rod. Actually, I have the $34.99, so not too bad. One second, man must rehydrate. Oh, it's warm. I like the end on this because this will be in the mud and everything. It's a hard rubber end instead of the cork. Uh, I kind of like the, the favorite rod, but their foam comes all the way to the end. Uh, they've got a little bit of cork right at the end on that favorite rod, and then a, but they've got a favorite symbol over the top of it, so no cork really touched the ground there, but I like that. I really like the way that is. So anyway, your Daewa AccuDepth downrigger rod for trolling. Looks pretty good. So... I will give you guys some updates as I get to fishing on these. Thanks for watching. Uh, leave me a like and a comment. Have a good day.